Okay, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I just want to add this little tidbit. Some of you are looking down the road, way back down the road, at all the things you did, all the sins, how you sold your body, how you sold dope, how you took dope, how you how you stole the, the schemes and the, and the shenanigans you got caught up in. Some people may have died as a result of some of the choices you made. And you're looking at that saying, I am too far gone. There is no way God would want any parts of me. Mm -hmm. That's a lie from the pit. Some of you are the very ones Jesus died for. Listen. When you understand true love, you understand that love is available even when it's being blocked, when it's being resisted, when it's being suspected. When you suspect the things of God, you suspect that it's a lie, that it's a joke, that it's a farce, that even God is phony. But God's love goes way beyond all your little doubts and all your fears. Now I'm going to share a quick story. I've told it before, but this is for those of you who think God would not want to deal with you because you're too nasty. Because your life is just, you've gone way too far. You've crossed too many lines. When you or feeling that way about yourself. Try to understand this. I'm going to paint a picture for you. I knew a pastor who went to my neighbor's house. My neighbor was an evangelist. And when he went to her house, it was her pastor. When he went to her house, she did not want to let him in. Because she had a stopped up toilet. And because their funds were tight, they had to wait for several days before they could get the money to pay to get it cleared. So the smell in the house was embarrassing, to say the least. They did all they could do with bleach and everything else, and plungers, whatever, but it wasn't working. That sucker was stopped up. And there was more than one person living in that house with plenty of family jewels packed in there. One bathroom. That man came to the door, told the lady, God told me to come. She let him in very reluctantly, full of embarrassment. He, his nose, led him right to the problem. He marched straight to her bathroom. She's like, what is he doing? Where's he going? And he pulls up his... Sunday go to meeting shirt, takes off his blazer, gets on his Sunday go to meeting uh, knees in his pants, Sunday's pants, all dressed up, just got through preaching, and takes his bare arm, whole arm, and reaches down into the cesspool. Woo! The thought of it is gross. Right? He found the clog and he pulled it out. And away went troubles down the drain. Free of charge. No plumbing bill. No more waiting. Gets up, washes his arm off real good, sanitizes, gets everything cleared off the toilet, gets up off his knees and sits, ministers, encourages, and prays for the family. No embarrassment. Nobody knew it. He never told a soul. She told the story. It amazed her. She was shocked that any human being could even stomach that. He was a human being, 
a flawed human being. That filth did not stop him. His love drove him to do what he did for that woman and that family. God's love is far superior. Nothing like anything on this earth. No matter how holy, no matter how righteous God is, God is revving up his sleeves and he's always ready, willing, and able on your invite to reach his holy hand down into your cesspool of horrors and unplug the clogs that have paralyzed you, that have shamed you, that have hindered you, that has tormented you and haunted you. That's the kind of God I'm talking about. Nothing on this earth can you do to anybody or to yourself that God doesn't have the power to overcome and cleanse you from. He has the power to cleanse you. I'm a witness to that. I know what God cleansed me from. God is able, baby cakes. You are not that powerful. You are not that bad a mamma jamma that God can't handle you and your little nonsense. He can clean you up just as quick as he can think it. But you got to take the first step. You got to yield. I surrender all. All to Jesus, I surrender. All to him I freely give. Worldly pleasures all forsaken. <laughs> yeah. You watch what he does for you. Give him a try. Okay, I'm going to uh, I'm going to leave you in God's hands on that one. Nothing you can do can stop his love if you want it. It's always available. And he's always willing to get his hands dirty cleaning you up. God bless you. And he will heal your heart, your mind, all those hang-ups, all those anger issues, all those oh, idiosyncrasies that have hindered you and made life hell for other people around you. He can clean that up too and heal. <laughs>